What's up people are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And this video today, this content today, is a real icebreaker. Yes, it is. I'm gonna show you a permanent premium bypass on an iCloud activation lock on T2 MacBooks. So that could be a MacBook 2018, 2019, 2020, that are T2. And basically, all you need to do is on your host Mac, you need to download a program called HFZ Activator T2. Right, that's the one you download, okay? Now, uh, this is version 1.1. I'll have a link for this in the description uh, below my video. However, uh, it may change to version 1.2 or it may go, may go straight to version two. Now, thanks to the help of just a tech, I was able to basically get this MacBook fully bypassed. And all you have to do is register the ECID number of the model, okay? Uh, yes, obviously you do need another MacBook to do it. And the other thing you need is one of these, okay? A USB-C to USB-C. Now, if you have an old MacBook that doesn't have the USB-C cable on it, um, and it's got these here, the USB-A to USB-C, will it work? You bet it works, absolutely. So, you basically put the cable in this port here on this side, the second one down, and the, the same on the other computer, okay? So, I'm gonna do that now. Let's get that over the way. And there's the beep we were looking for, people. There's the beep. So, it's an absolute amazing process, this. An amazing idea, and I can't thank the man enough. Honestly, I really, really can't. Now, before proceeding, once you've downloaded the HFZ Activator tool, once you've downloaded it, what you want to do is basically on your host computer, you want to download Apple Configurator. If you don't have it, it should be available in the App Store. As you can see, I have it there. Should be available in the App Store. If for some strange reason it's not available in the App Store, then it will be available in the Mac App Store. And basically what you need to do is put this MacBook here in DFU mode. Once it's in DFU mode, so for example, I'll show you now. So power button, so right power button, okay, and the shift, yeah. And on this side, you wanna use the control and option keys, okay? So it's the power button, right shift, control and options at the same time, right? So here we go. Hold them down at the same time. And as you can see, it's registered the device in DFU, okay? So what you do is, 
you basically go to, you select that, and then actions, simply select restore. It'll restore the latest bridge operating system on the Mac, okay? And then basically, once it's restored, you get back to the, I, I don't need to restore it because I've already restored it. So I don't need to do that. But once it's restored, um, if the computer doesn't power up, simply take this device back out of DFU mode. If, um, if it, if, sometimes it'll boot up, but if it doesn't boot up, after doing the Apple Configurator Restore, then just simply the quickest way to do it is to just put it into uh, recovery. So by holding, pressing the power button, command and R. Okay, so as you can see, I've just taken it out of DFU mode and it's basically back to the uh, network recovery okay now at this stage what you want to do you want to register your ecid okay and as you can see mine's already registered so you register your ecid and what you want to do is basically put the mac back in to dfu mode Okay, so again, same again, power key, shift key, control and options at the same time, so that the HFZ activator can acknowledge it in DFU mode. There it is. Right, found MacBook Pro identifier 16.2 in DFU. Excellent news. Now, simple process. After you've activated, uh, after you've um, registered the ECID, private message the man. That's just a tech on Telegram, or you could you could even Google his name or go on his website um, and private message him through that way. Either way, but I'm here to tell you, folks, 100% it works. Okay, all my content works. Nothing's fake. It's all real. So it'll start exploiting, boot the RAM disk, start doing, uh, it'll start mounting, and yeah, basically, this is how it works. And it is a full premium bypass, okay, on any T2 Mac that is iCloud activation locked. And honestly, I can I cannot thank the man enough for, you know, making this happen um it, it's, it's truly amazing i mean it really is absolutely amazing because for ages i've been trying a lot of people have been trying with t2 max um i'm told there is a way with a windows computer with eye removal pro as well uh to do it on there with the t2 max yes um so obviously if you can't get access to a mac uh, another Mac and you've got Windows, then maybe go down the eye removal uh, pro uh, bypass. Look at that. FS mounted, keep your device connected. Brilliant. That's okay with that. 100%. It's done. Happy to use. So I'm good to go. So as is stating, it's in normal mode. Screen is dark. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to boot it up, um, go through the internet recovery, and once I'm finished, I will be right back with you folks. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so I powered the Mac back up, put it into recovery mode, internet recovery, as you can see, is coming to an end now. And very soon, you're going to see no activation lock. And I'm going to proceed in installing 
the operating system. iCloud, gone, just like that. Obviously for the prices and, you know, etc. obviously private message the man and obviously he'll tell you, you know, what they are. You know, certain MacBooks, certain locks. I um, I know he covers the EFI lock as well, the, the firmware lock. He covers that as well. Um, and yeah, uh, check out my the rest of my other content as well on um, iCloud bypasses, um, MDM bypasses, uh, uh, activation issues, things like that. Um, to uh, iCloud bypass with watches as well. Uh, also, how to fix watches. Um, if you've got a problem uh, updating the software on them. Uh, some can be done without um, an Apple Watch repair tool. Some can't. Uh, just depends, really. But um, yeah, this service, absolutely amazing. I've been waiting a long time for this. Um, a lot of you have, you know. And, you know, I bet there's not just thousands, I bet there's millions of people, millions of you out there, This, you know, you've got a locked MacBook and you're like, what am I going to do, you know? Because Checkmate only goes as far as uh, Mac OS Big Sur. So if it's on Monterey or Ventura, it's not going to work. Also, it has to be updated to the latest iBridge operating system. And that is what Apple Configurator does, like I said earlier on in the video. See, so. I'd also like to pick up a, a few other iCloud developers as well as doing a lot of good work. Guys, keep up the good work. That's myiCloud.info, Legit Unlocks Official. Uh, I removal pro and you retech and many others guys keep up the good work it means a lot to the people you know yes it's a shame we don't have apple tech 752 no more yes i know i miss him just as much as you guys do believe me <laughs> i do i really do you know but yeah we keep moving forward. We keep moving forward. Remember that. And, you know, with Macs or iOS devices, you know, you watch my channel and you've got iCloud lock devices. Huh. This puts you on the map, amigos. Huh. Do you know what I'm saying? It certainly does. Absolutely, 100%. Puts you on the map. No question about it. So it's just finalizing now. And I can assure you that there is no iCloud activation lock once this is complete. Also the HFZ activator, that program, remarkable, absolutely amazing. It don't just cover Macs, it covers uh, iOS devices, even Watch, Watch OS, yes, a recent bypass for Watch OS. Obviously, same one, Series 1, 2, and 3. Uh, the Series 4 and above can't be covered, um, you know, for bypasses or, or even for them to be reprogrammed, so to speak, you know, um, uh, for the same reason. A12 devices and above can't be done. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just, that's just the way it is. So here we go now. The Apple logo's booting up. Let's let the magic begin, shall we? So, your language, English, so I'll put English UK. I mean, I am in the UK, so it kind of makes sense. <laughs> Next. 
Mac OS recovery. <laughs> now, common sense, are we gonna get this far if it's iCloud activation locked? Come on, people, come on, we know or not. So what you do next, disk utility, continue. What you wanna do, do not erase the base system at all costs, okay? Select this here and you wanna show all devices, okay? Now your main one will be the one at the top, okay? So as you can see, mine is Apple SSD. That's what I save mine to. You wanna go ahead and select arrays. And obviously where it says untitled, I'm going to put in, um, a lot of people just put in Macintosh HD. You can if you want. Uh, it's up to you, but I'm going to put in Apple SSD. But it doesn't really matter what you call it. That's, you know, that's the name of your solid state drive. That's the name of it. So erase. So it's going to unmount and erase the partition. Successfully complete. Brilliant. So let's click done on that. Now, contain the disk two. Well, oh, that's empty anyway, so that doesn't matter. Uh, reinstall Big Sur before I do back on disk utility. And as you can see, Apple SSD, clean and clear. Good to go. Now, reinstall Mac OS Big Sur. Continue. And look at that. Are we going to agree? Or you bet. Look at that, people. And now, just go through the process. No iCloud activation lock. Obviously, yes, at the moment, like with M2, uh, sorry, M1 chips and M2. No, uh, I don't believe there's a bypass out there for them at the moment. Um, but if you've got a T2 Mac, is iCloud activation locked? This is the key. This is the way to get it done. And it's simple, it's straightforward. Just a tech, add him on Telegram, yeah? Private message him. If you can't find him for some reason, which you're bound to find him, you know, um, most of you watching this video probably already know the man. <laughs> so yeah, do that. And basically um, take it from there. And you will have your T2 Mac up and running, whether it's iCloud activation locked, um, FMI, uh, sorry, um, EFI firmware locked, or even the uh, passcode lock. You know, the encryption with the, basically the codes, I'm not sure the name of it off the top of my head, but um, you know the one I'm talking about. So he covers those three. And yeah, yeah, basically, that's it. So I'm good to go. It's installing Big Sur, you know, and basically, I, I'm really glad that I was able to do this video, you know, for you, the people, because I know there's got to be a lot of you out there that are in this situation and, you know, you've been stuck with your Mac for ages. Not anymore. Not anymore. Be sure to check out the rest of my content. Um, I'll have more content coming in, but I've got plenty of content on you. And like I said, if it's iCloud, MDM, activation issues, anything like that, then my video, my sorry, my channel, my content is right up your street. Thank you. Smash that like. Be sure to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.
This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.